Hello again. Today I have something for you involving command blocks. Yeah, I think I've never done a real video using command blocks, right? Well, here it is. Let's start by having a look at this. I have currently a score of 0. Uh, so let this change to 42. Good number. Now when I press this button, you can see I have 42 as my score now. 42 points. I press this button and now I see my score displayed in redstone signals. Um, this is binary so here's the highest bit, there's the lowest one 32 plus 8 plus 2 42. You can also see I have now 0 as my score again. Now let's use something different. Um, 25 I press this button, 16 plus 8 plus 1, 25. And if I make 0, I get 0. Also as point now wieder, uh, again, <laughs> sorry. Now, why, uh, what can you use this for? Um, let's say you have some kind of shop those points are some kind of currency. You have 24 gold or something and then you press the button and you have a redstone si uh, system behind which can use the value you just entered into the system to buy something and therefore your current score of course has to be lower. Get removed from your wallet. Um, you can simply change a few things, add a few blocks more to the system and then you get this. I have now 15 points, changed a few things in the background and now when I press this button I again get the correct value 15 but I also kept my value in my, as my current score 15 now and when I use other values 63 again get the correct value in here and still keep my score um, what can you use this for? Well, let's assume you have some kind of arena and want to put the, um, the player score on a high score table on multiplayer server or something, but you still want to use the points later on for something else. Let's say you combine the other system for a shop with this for a high score table. In that case you need the points still. And of course I have still another functionality which I want to show you now, but therefore I need someone else. So let me see if I can find someone to come on the server. Okay, I found someone. Uh, Cabo, Cabo PC, was nice enough to come online and help me out. Hey Cabo. Hey. So um, if you look at this, Cabo has a point of uh, 15, a score of 15, and I have 20 points. Now when I press this button, I will get a diamond and it says I have the highest score and we get the output of 20, my score but if it would set covers points to a higher value than me 25 for example and I press this button covers the highest score got a diamond and now we have 25 as a value simple as that Now onto how this works. I've added a few peripherals to get a nice output and add a few functionalities, but the core of it is always this little thing. Repeat it six times because I have a six bit output. Um, the principle behind it is similar to analog to digital converters, ADCs, but this one converts scoreboard values to redstone. So it's SRC? No, I don't think that name will get official. Anyway, um, we always start at the first module for the highest bit. And the upper command block here, we will remove the value of the highest bit. In our case, we have 6 bit, that means our value is 32, from the score of our player, the score we want to check. Now, in my case, I have 20 points right now. You can see it on the right side of the screen. That means when this command block is finished, I will have less than zero points. And this is what we want to check with the command block below. It simply tests if I, with test 4, 
if I have more or equal to zero points. If I have at least zero points, we'll get a signal outputted in front. Otherwise, we'll get no signal if I have less than zero points. And that means that this redstone torch will go on in case we have less than zero points and activate this third command block, which will add the number of points we just removed. So in the case of the highest bit, we'll add 32 because we removed 32 earlier. And for the next bit here, we first remove 16 bit, test, uh, test if I am less than zero points, and then in case I'm under zero, add 16 bit again, and so on. Uh, those of you who know binary or and or some uh, techniques for converters will pretty much understand how this system works. Otherwise, um, you may want to look into binary and get this thing in your head. Now for the different functions. Let's start at here with the memory cells. Uh, those are important for me. First on this line, we activate all the pistons and pushing all the redstone blocks back when we start the conversion. Now during the conversion, whenever such a small module for a single bit uh, hits a zero, this redstone torch will activate to get back our points and therefore activate also this piston to push back this redstone block and that way we get a signal down here. That's our output in the front. And the first function was, well, the second function was to regain the points after the conversion. They're simply done by having pistons above the redstone blocks. So wherever we did not hit a zero, that means wherever we get a one outputted in front, uh, those blocks will be pushed out. And the signal coming from here will go through those repeaters and back into the corresponding command blocks which give us points. So, two cases can happen. Number one, we remove points from this with this command block and then see that we have less than zero points left. We will automatically get the points back or we have still more than zero points and uh, we'll get the points back later after the conversion. No matter what, we'll get exactly the points back we lost during the process. Now for the third functionality. That is actually extremely simple. Instead of just uh, adding and removing the points of a single player, we remove and add points to every player with add A for add all. Since this system is based on the idea that we test for any player that has at least zero points for each bit, that means that we in the end remove the number of points that the person with the highest score has. So in our case, right now you can see it on the right side of the screen, Kawa has 25 points and I only 20. That means we will remove 25 points in total. That will be the number we output in front and that will also be the number of points I will lose during the process, personally. That means before we get all our points back, so before this line activates, we'll have a short moment where Cable will have zero points because he is the best player in the round and I will have less than zero points. Minus five to be more specific. And now we can simply test for players which have at least zero points. And we know that they will have the highest score. So if it's only one player, it will only be one player outputted. And if it's more than one player, well, all players with at least zero points will get some reward of kind, some kind. But in a bigger server, you of course don't want to change the values of every single player online. And therefore, um, you probably have seen it already, I've added always this score marker min equals 1. I've really added everywhere. And this marker is just um, kind of a flag that tells me this player should be analyzed. 
can just set it. Uh, my is currently at 1, Cabo is not online at the moment. If I would uh, have Cabo online right now again, and his flag would be set to 0, so the value of his marker would be 0, then he won't be analyzed and affected by this machine. So if you have a big player, and in maybe in mob arena, where you let players fight against mobs, and you want to see which player has um, killed the most mobs, you would just uh, set the flag for every player that fought, then make this conversion, get the number of the high score, you will know which player has the uh, most kills, and later on you can just remove the flags again, and everything gets back to normal. In the end, it's a really a simple setup. Uh, I hope you like it. I hope you can find ways to use it in some, uh, in some kind, and maybe make it faster slash more compact. I hope uh, at least for faster. It's really slow at the moment. Three ticks per bit. Ah. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I should mention that. In case you wonder what happens when I have less than zero or more than no 64 as my score. Well, that's the most easiest part. With command blocks you can pretty easy check if a value is under a certain constant or higher than. So you just add two command blocks, one which checks if your initial score is under zero and one which checks if your initial score is higher than the max value you can check for, so 63, and you're good to go. You only make the conversion if both command blocks say uh, the value isn't lower than zero or higher than my max value. No problem here. Well, yeah, that's um, it from me. Thank you for watching, and hopefully see you next time.